What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Create, Connect, Repeat. Today, I want to talk a little bit about why a publicist is not a magic bullet. One of the things that I think a lot of artists misunderstand when they think about putting their investment and in time and energy into a project and then going at the end of it to try to find a publicist that wants to work with them uh, and that thinks that they can do a good job for them, that thinks that they can bring them value, uh, is that they think that this is suddenly like a magic bullet, that by hiring this publicist who's gotten these results for somebody else in the past, that that's gonna directly translate into the exact same coverage for them, the same opportunities. Uh, and while it is true that certain publicists are going to have certain connections that other ones don't have, and that's absolutely true, but all of the publicists that I know have a lot of the similar contacts, especially in our genre, right, in the jazz area. There is only so many outlets. There's only so many writers. There's only so many people that cover our type of music. So uh, each publicist has their own kind of flavor of what they bring to the table, but none of them are gonna be magically able to get you something that you didn't set up in advance. So what do I mean? If this is your first release and there's no story behind the record, there's no nothing besides the music that gets people interested and excited about the music, it's gonna be a really tough sell no matter who you hire to work the campaign. So as you consider your investment, consider the fact that you need you definitely need to hire a publicist because if you don't hire a publicist this time and it's your first record, then next time is really like your first record because you haven't started investing in a publicist yet. And a publicist kind of shows the industry that you're serious about investing in your art, that you're serious about investing in yourself and your career and your project. So it gives a certain level of seriousness to the music, it gives a certain level of coverage, it gives a certain level of professionalism, You know, putting it in a nice package, putting a bow on it, and getting it out to uh, all the industry folks that want to hear your music. So just think about that. But just remember that no publicist is a silver bullet and that you have to live to play the long game. So if you're going to spend $20,000 on a publicist, you might rethink that and find one that will work with your budget and give you the goals that you want. There's so many great publicists that can do a great job for your project, especially if you have a great story, if you have great music, if you have great photos, if you have great artwork, all of that stuff put together will help you to get the coverage that you want for your album. But don't expect that just by hiring a publicist or by spending a lot of money, quote unquote, you're going to end up with a better result. The result has a lot to do with the product of you, the music, the musician, the artist, and it also has a lot to do with market conditions. It has a lot to do with random events that happen when you're album is supposed to come out if COVID comes and that happened last year so who knows what other random uh, acts of uh, what would they say acts of God happen uh, as they would say in a contract something like that but keep just keep that in mind we're in it for the long run you've got to invest in publicity but invest smart and you can't think it's going to be the silver bullet because it's not a silver bullet it's just one tool in the toolkit so I hope you enjoyed uh, the return of these episodes of Create, Connect, Repeat, a little bit of music business knowledge and uh, advice for you as you're putting your projects together. We can't wait to connect with you. If you need help getting your album out, feel free to get in touch with us at Outside in Music. We love to help artists get their music out to the world. So it's a pleasure to talk to you and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one.